guys, it's Jasmine, and today I am here to review The Dumb House by John Burnside. Okay, so to start, I absolutely loved this book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I read it in two or three sittings. Um, I would have read it in one except that I just had to do things in between reading them. And by the end, I couldn't even think of a way to review it. All I said was, holy shit, this is, this is the best thing I've read this year. So the basic plot of the book, as described to me, uh, was that a man decides to raise children without language in order to see the language that they come up with. And I took a couple of linguistics courses in college, and I'm always really fascinated by language and the way that kids develop language, so I thought this would be a perfect read for me. For a book that's so centered around language, I think that the language here is beautiful. John Burnside, um, his experience as a poet, and you can definitely tell in the way that he writes his prose that he just sort of pulls you toward the end, pulls you toward the next sentence, the next chapter. Um, I usually prefer my chapters shorter, and these were quite long. They were, they were only about four chapters or sections in the book, but I still kind of, I still found myself um, hurtling through them. That's the way that I thought of it. I saw it described as similar to Lolita and Perfume um, by Vladimir Nabokov and Patrick Seuskind respe respectively, and I definitely agree in that they're such terrible narrators. And it's written so beautifully that you, if you're not looking for it, you catch yourself sort of feeling sorry for them, and you catch yourself agreeing with the things that they're saying, and then you realize, no, 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 you're a terrible person, the things that you're saying are terrible and horrible, you're a murderer. Um, and it actually made me really want to reread Perfume after I finished this book, because I, was, I got the same feeling, that same sort of rush of, this is a truly evil person that I'm reading about. Um, at the start, you know that he killed the children that were part of the experiment, and the rest of the book, it goes back through his life, but it's all rushing toward that ending. And that was my big problem with the book. This book was described as about the experiment, about the lack of language in the children, about this forced lack of language, and they can't, you find out at the beginning that they come up with a song-type language of their own. And I was expecting this to be about what is innate, what is learned. Is there a part of us, is there a part of our language capacity that is just inborn that we can get by without language? But that's not what this book is about. This book is about the journey, his journey toward this experiment, um, and the way that Burnside writes, you feel as though it's inevitable, but you also watch the pieces fall into place. You see his mother tell him about, um, you see his mother tell him about the initial experiment where someone kept children locked away with no language, and you see him start to experiment on animals and look at their vocal cords, and, and you learn, you see him become disillusioned with the world, and you see him start to hate other people. Um, but this is not a story about kids without language. This is. This is a story about a man who wants to learn and understand humanity itself, and that's he feels that language is the key to that. Um, and so this book for me was a bit of a letdown. I gave it, as I said, five stars, but I found it disappointing in the end. And I had to take a week or so to think about it after finishing this book, think about where my problem with it came from, because it wasn't anything to do with the writing or the plot or anything within the novel itself, it's in how it was described to me and how people talked about it on Goodreads and in other YouTube videos. And so it's difficult to read a book like that. It's difficult to say, you as the author didn't do anything wrong, but I was still disappointed by this, and it feels unfair for me to knock a star off for what really was a misunderstanding on my part or a misinterpretation of what other people said about it. Um, and so that's why I've, had, I've struggled with this, because I've I haven't known how to properly express my feelings about this book that I loved, that I loved with caveats. That's how I've come to think of it, is that I, I gave it five stars with caveats. Um, five stars if you don't go into it expecting the things that I did, if you go into it expecting a story about a, a journey of an awful man to an inevitable end, but not a story about where language comes from, what language is, what is innate, what is learned, and all of that. So those are my thoughts. I know that they were very rambly, but I wrote out a little script because the first time that I filmed this video, it turned out, it turned out I was all over the place, um, and there was no real focal point. So hopefully this was easier to understand. Um, let me know down below if you have read the book, or if you plan on reading the book, or if you've had any similar experiences with hype leading to 
different expectations to what you got um, because I think this is something I know that it's something that happens a lot but this is the first time I've ever really noticed it and really noticed that really noticed that there was nothing wrong with the book itself but still I felt disappointed by it so thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day